made possible by the... Boy, do I wish I had a way that I could control the pan and the tilt of a camera or a phone on a tripod or on a desk or on any surface outdoors from a remote control without having to actually go to the camera and adjust it manually. Well, guess what? That day is today. We have this really awesome remote controlled, pan and tilt, motorized camera mount, phone mount, tripod mount for you to check out today. This is from Zephon and we are, it says fits most cameras and phones under one kilo. So anything just about under two pounds I know my phone normally doesn't weigh that much. Uh, my camera that I'm recording with now only weighs less than two pounds. Pretty sure it would probably hold something a little bit more than two pounds. We're right at two pounds. So we're gonna open this up. I've been actually, you know, looking at these a long time ago and then quit look at them and then, hey, we've got one here we're gonna try out. So let's crack open the box and see what's in the box. Right, so it is heavily wrapped. I'll peel it off. I will say it is wrapped very, very good. In this box, Zipron really. Now, I've had trouble pronouncing some names, but Zipron is a pretty good name. So, we're going to open this up. Right on top of the box, you get the remote, a couple batteries, a phone mount, a piece of foam, which I thought would surely be down like that. That's how it should be. Um, instructional booklet with USB type C cable. Another USB cable. Longer cable, another longer USB Type C cable, white cable. Unit itself, and uh, you've got a deal here underneath that you can mount to a tripod. So you can mount this to a tripod, tip it back and forth. This might be our new camera holder. As cool as this is, you got a little deal here in the center, which you loosen this up, slide this out. That is your little camera mount that you would mount camera or phone or whatever two so this piece comes out and you've got this that screws and tightens it's metal up here on top and this is plastic this bottom doesn't seem to turn it has numbers around it giving different points okay Let's see how the phone mount fits on it This back in here. Like this. Slide it in, or you could just put it in there and then snug it up. It's got a couple grooves, keeps it from moving. Now it has a battery compartment here in the back with a rechargeable 1500 milliamp battery sure that battery is probably already got a battery life indicator there on the side it is at 75 percent you've got a bubble level here on the side so you can level it so that's cool it's kind of like a uh what do you call it and it's got a motor so we're gonna go ahead turn it on it's bringing up this it's, uh, i'm assuming the batteries are for the remote here All right, so it's working right off the bat. Looks like we are on channel 88. So you can see here it's a reel, so that's cool. You can pan down, pan up. This will be cool for uh, when I am do it a lot. I'm mount the camera stuff. on here and mount this on a tripod so you guys can see how it looks on a tripod 
uh, this cable right here, this is a long cable, this is probably for charging. Yes, that is a heavy duty charger, which I will probably go ahead after we get done playing with this, plug this in, charge it, which it does have it's right here on the side. So that you would just plug your USB type C right into there and charge it. So, and then of course you get a smaller one. So it has strong anti-interference built into it to load camera phones and other subjects under one kilogram. Um, the YT-1000 is a smaller size, portable, easy to control, uh, adapts, uh, the PT body adapts PC and aluminum material. There is a quarter inch screw hole at the bottom of the pan and tilt, which is that right there, to be instantly pushed on a tripod. It All right guys, we are here at Lake Charleston. We're gonna get some different kind of pans for you uh, and tilts and all that cool stuff. But this here is a really awesome mount. Uh, so far I like it. We're gonna be using this remote. I guess I better turn it on first. So you got the buttons here. Turn it on. I'm making that camera pan. For a very nice effect. And down. All that good stuff. way up high like I am right now we're probably 35 40 feet above regular road elevation and you wanted to pan down say like you were gonna be down the hill shooting you pan down and hit that now what would be really cool is if this deal had a deal that you could plug into it that you could hook into the camera and that you could control the zoom on it as well. But you can't do that. It'd be cool if you could do that and it would control the zoom from here too. So, I, I like this thing, I really do. I think it's very cool. You could, you know, I could pan. It's really good smooth. Now I can speed the pan and the tilt up. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. If you need quick. to get that faster view, it will pan up faster. And how high will it go? Well, as you can see, I can flip right up there and see the top of those trees. It'd be cool if you could control. I'm controlling the focus and the, uh, the zoom. I'm zoomed all the way in right there. So you could do like, let's slow everything down here.
wise, I can see myself using this a lot. I think you would too. You should probably go check it out. Link in the description as always. I thank you so much for checking out this video and dropping a like and commenting down below. And uh, as you can see here, it is Thanksgiving. So I wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving on this day. Hope you are having a blessed day with your family and uh, enjoying the awesome weather. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.